Kyoto Koto and welcome to the Lost Ruins of Arnak in about three minutes. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. On a conveniently uninhabited island in uncharted seas, explorers have found traces of a great civilization. Can you lead an expedition to explore the island, find lost artifacts, and face fearsome guardians, all in a quest to learn the island's secrets? The game ends after five full rounds of play, with the staff moving right each turn. The winner is the player with the most points, and they come from many sources. Keep an eye out for the symbol. Deck building. You start the game with six basic cards, but can buy better ones. Worker placement. You place workers on locations to get the marked benefits. Player turn. In this game, you will take one action, then play moves to the next player, continuing until all players have run out of actions. Start by drawing five cards. When a card is played, it goes to your discard pile. Cards and effects marked with a lightning bolt can be used at any time in your turn. Some actions require movement cards. Each movement card can be used as marked and for the ones below it here. So air travel can be used for any travel type. Let's run through the actions. Placing a worker in a resource spot costs a movement card. Gain the resources shown on the board. The second spot requires two movement. You can buy a card by paying its marked cost either on resources or cards. Purchased items go at the bottom of your deck while artifacts go to your discard pile and can immediately be used. Note, later plays of artifacts will cost a tablet. To discover a location, you need to spend exploration tokens as well as its marked cost. Claim the relic and place it on your board. Relics will give you the rewards shown on them. Place a location and claim the award shown. Then cover it with a guardian. Defeating a guardian requires spending the resources shown on it. Place the guardian on your board. Each one can be used once for its special bonus marked here. Then they flip over. Advancing the tech track requires spending the marked resources. Claim the reward on the right and any tokens you get to first. You cannot advance your book past your magnifying glass. The book lets you claim assistance. Place them on your board. Assistance can be upgraded by advancing the book. When you reach the end of the tech tree, you can buy victory points. The more you spend, the more points you get. Relics can be locked up here in order to gain one of the bonuses shown. This will cost you victory points. If you end a full round with your worker by a guardian, gain a fair card. Regardless, claim back all your workers. And in later turns, any uncovered location can be revisited. Then move the staff and refresh the card row. Then redraw to five cards, it is now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Lost Ruins of Arnak does a lot of things well, but I think the key strength of the design is that you get 25 cards across five turns and absolutely have to maximize how you use them. So if you want a game that has a lot of decision making and a comparatively short time frame, I'd consider picking it up. The item and artifact decks contain a lot of fun cards and tricks you can play, and figuring out how to gain the maximum benefit from these cards is absolutely key. You simply cannot do everything in the game, and on turn one, that tech track looks awfully long and the resources and overall look of the game are top notch. The best thing about this game is when you chain together a bunch of crazy actions and bonuses. However, I'm not a fan of the Guardian's mechanics. It's a very easy fixed cost to defeat one and the consequences of failure are only a fair card, which is easy enough to remove. I feel they could have done much more here. And overall, it's a very safe and familiar design mechanically and thematically. So while it's a solid game, it's not a revelation. For similar gameplay, try Raiders of Scythia. And for a different take on archaeology, try Museum, Lost Ruins of Arnak, Indiana Jones, and the Raiders of the North Sea. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.